So if you love technology and gadgets, then you have to love gaming, man. For us, this is a small perk of our job. It gives us that boost to carry on, you know, in this world of technology. 2014, we ended with Far Cry 4 and we were mighty pleased and expectations were just high, totally high for 2015. Well, expectations should be high because there's plenty of dope that is coming your way in 2015. So just sit back and see our video of upcoming games of 2015. It's divided into two parts because there's plenty. So the first game that's expected to release on January 27th is Dying Life. Now even though zombie games seem to have reached out saturation point, we can't help but see the promise in Dying Life. The game is open world survival horror with parkour and crafting that features a day-night cycle that influences gameplay in a major way. Next is Evolve that is expected to be released around February 10th. Now Evolve has one of the most unique concepts for a multiplayer shooter that we have heard in a while. The game lets four players team up against an alien monster, controlled by another player as they try to kill each other or complete certain objectives. Think Counter-Strike, only the terrorist team has been replaced by a single vicious giant alien monster. Order 1886. Now, this is the game that the PlayStation's fan have been waiting for for quite some time now. It's a steampunk fantasy action game set in the 19th century London that is suffering from monster attack and class revolution. You control a member of four team of an order that are desperately trying to save humanity from the monsters. My work gives them hope that we will one day prevail against our enemies. And for car fans, there is Project Cars that is expected to be released around March 17. So a community-powered game, Project Cars will be able to see the light of day because of support from gamers who bought tool packs and perks and will receive a share of the profits made by the game sales. The game will be a true racing simulator and will feature 67 cars, 52 racetracks and a dynamic physics simulation engine. Battlefield Hardline, which is also expected to be released around March. Now, Battlefield franchise takes a breather from global warfare in Hardline and instead focuses on urban combat as witnessed by the police. Apart from the huge multiplayer focus, the game takes control of a solid single-player campaign that deals with drugs, crime and corruption. And next is good old Grand Theft Auto V. Now, we're talking about the PC version. Well, the game needs no introduction. Constant delays have only whetted our appetite for what will surely be the definitive edition of the latest Grand Theft Auto game. The screenshot released so far shows a game that looks shockingly better than its console counterparts. The PC version will also get a set of video editing tools so that you can share your exploits in the game with the entire world. It's just one long mystery. Next game is Bloodborne for PlayStation. Now, it's your upcoming action RPG game that shares its DNA from Demon's Soul and Dark Soul game. However, unlike them, here you have guns along with melee weapons and a fast-paced compact. So, this should be pretty exciting. Then we have Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. This is also expected to be released around the Q1. Thirsting for some pixelated top-down neon lit ultra violence? Yeah, then Hotline Miami sequel scheduled to crawl out very soon from inside its characters, cocaine and what coffee nightmares should give you plenty of that. And the next game would be Overwatch. Now, considering that Blizzard is already coming up with its answer to Valve's Dota 2, it's not surprising that it also has Team Fortress 2 equivalent primed for launch.
Meet Overwatch, a squad-based multiplayer shooter with cartoonish graphics and defined roles a la Team Fortress 2. Only here, they are futuristic superheroes and supervillains instead of soldiers and spies. The introductory trailer has already won us over and we can't wait for this game to come up this year. Next we have Pillars of Eternity. Well, old school CRPG saw an unexpected resurgence in 2014 and that trend should continue this year with Pillars of Eternity, a game that once held the record for the highest amount of money raised through Kickstarter. Developed by names behind some of the most seminal computer RPGs, Pillars of Eternity is a tactical, squad-based fantasy RPG in the vein of classics like Baldur's Gate and Plane Escape Torment. And for Mortal Kombat fans, Mortal Kombat 10 is coming this year. So much gore, if you have watched any of the introductory trailers of the Mortal Kombat 10, you know you are in for a bloody good time. Punctuated by the sound of rending flesh, splintering bones and tearing sinews. Mortal Kombat 10 will feature interchangeable environments, more graphic fatalities and new moves for loved characters like Scorpion. Next is Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now this is definitely the most anticipated game of the year and it is bound to be big too. So CD Projekt it takes up from the previous game and puts Gerald in the middle of this gorgeous open world environment that is under attack from supernatural army. Some fight for glory, justice or gold. I fight for those I hold dear. I'm Geralt of Rivia, the Witcher. And Batman is back with Batman Arkham Knight. We have been seeing videos, trailers, screenshots and news about the latest Batman game for a while now and soon we'll be able to play it too. Arkham Knight includes a redefined and now much aped combat and stealth system of the series while also introducing regular gameplay. This time around, Batman must face off against Scarecrow and a mysterious villain who calls himself the Arkham Knight. Next game is Quantum Break. The Finnish developers Remedy have had an affair going on with Microsoft for a while now and that explains why the sci-fi shooter Quantum Break will be exclusively launched for the Xbox One in second half of the year. Looking at the trend though, you can be assured that the game will come to the PC as well. And we also see Dead Island 2 this year. The second game from Deep Silver in this list is also a zombie shooter but one with slightly different pedigree. Dead Island 2 takes place in sunny California amidst a zombie outbreak and features crafting, melee and gun combat and an open world. So we just showed you 15 upcoming games and like I said there are more. This is just part one of the video. This year it just can't get better than this man.